Hi guys, Scott Snyder here, and today I'm going to show you how to change a fidget spinner into a top world drop spindle. The first thing you need to do is take the spinner apart. So you just pop the cap off and push the bearing out. So I'm going to save this bearing. I'm going to use it for a mine spindle in the next video. You can measure the bearing, which is 22 in a little bit. Not a very precision uh, <laughs> bearing. So what I did was I went to Fusion 360 and designed this adapter. So it's uh, 22 millimeters in diameter. It's uh, 9 millimeters tall. And the spinner itself is 7 millimeters. So I gave myself a 2 millimeter lip on the bottom. That way when you push it down in, it can't go any further. So that takes care of the bearing part. So now you have a whorl. I designed it with a quarter inch diameter hole. So you can take a quarter inch dowel. I have a quarter inch shaft here I made, but a dowel would work just fine. And you press it on. And you drill a small hole in the center of the dowel. That hole all depends on uh, how big the threads are on your cup hook. So you just thread it on. And you have a top whorl fidget spinner. Another nice thing is, with this adapter, as long as the fidget spinner uses a 22 millimeter adapter, you can put different fidget spinners. I'd like to thank my son for having all these fidget spinners. This one here with the shaft comes in at 1.9 ounces, which is right at the cusp of being a very heavy weight top whorl. Where if you take the red one here, that's one ounce. You know, that's right at what I would consider a medium weight spindle. So I'll show you some pictures of how I designed it in Fusion 360. And there will be a link in the description on where you can download this adapter on Thingiverse. And uh, I would love to see pictures, so uh, feel free to send me them at uh, snaredspindles at gmail.com. All right, I opened Fusion 360. And to make the adapter, we're going to start in the sketch mode. We're going to make some circles. We want center diameter circles. The hotkey for that is C. So we're going to come to the center. We're going to come out 24 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 24, hit enter, hit C on the keyboard, and we'll start from the center. And then we're going to come out 22. And start from the center one more time. And we're going to come out 6.35 millimeters and hit enter twice. 6.35 millimeters is a quarter of an inch. So now we're going to extrude this out. So we're going to go to create, extrude. We're going to click here and we're going to come up nine millimeters. Not 90, that would be kind of big. So nine millimeter. I'm going to come to sketches and turn these on. So I can see this piece here and go to extrude, select that and go up two millimeter. So that is our design for the adapter. Now to 3D print it, we would select it, go to make and then click OK and it will open up in our slicer. I'm using Cura, but I already have it in Cura, so we'll open it up. So Cura opened it and it's setting on its side. I'm just going to lay it down flat. So I'm going to select it, rotate, then grab this and try to rotate it to 90 degrees. There we go. Now that's set down on the build plate. Like so, that looks good. Um, we're gonna want to come over to the profile section and the infill density is 50%. It's such a small piece, I'm gonna go 100%. And then all we need to do is save it to an SD card and put it in the printer. So there you guys go. How to make a top world spindle out of a fidget spinner. Thanks for watching. Oh. Did I mention how cool these look in the dark?